We'll begin by downloading the project file. Then, I'll demonstrate what the final product looks like. Finally, we'll build the project and you can bring your own addresses into Google Earth. Begin by downloading the project file from my GitHub account. Here's what the final macro-enabled workbook looks like. San Jose Delicatessens. Let's open it up and run the macro. We begin with a worksheet that has the delicatessen addresses to be exported. Click the Developer tab, followed by the Macros icon in the code group. I'll run the Make KML Address macro from the Macros dialog box. I open the The San Jose Delicatessens KML file from the File Explorer. This launches Google Earth, loaded with the delicatessen markers. Now, I can choose Eric's Deli from the Places menu on Google Earth. Prerequisites, links on the GitHub README. MD file provides access to all of the prerequisite details that you need to know. The project map provides detailed step-by-step -step instructions for building and running the VBA project. Let's build this project. Begin by downloading the make KML address. Zip file to your local PC. Open the zip file and place the two files inside your project folder. Rename make KML address. Text to make KML address. Pass. Open the CSV file in Excel and save the file, save AS, as type Excel macro enabled workbook. Click on the developer tab to access the Visual Basic code window. Click on the Visual Basic icon. Right-click on Microsoft Excel objects, followed by clicking Import File from the menu. Select Make KML Address. Click on the module to see the one subroutine used to export the addresses. I'll run the code by clicking the green Go button at the top of the window. Now, there is a new KML file in the project folder. I'll open it to launch Google Earth. The code starts with declaring the variables that will be used in this subroutine. The dim statement is used to create the variables. Next, we'll initialize the variables with starting values. The header and the footer are the most complex pieces of code. They contain XML headings and footers. The path and file name are taken from the project folder and workbook file name. L file is going to be used as a file handle. Handles are used to write data to disk. The active sheet will be used to read the address information. There is one sheet in the workbook. I get the last row in the active worksheet. The file is opened, then the heading is written to disk. Next, the program loops through every row of the source worksheet peeling values from each cell of the sheet. Finally, the footer is written to disk and the file handle is closed. We'll look at the KML file and see how the records relate to the worksheet. Notice the header, the place marks, then the footer. It's not as complicated as it seems, 